My name's Sam from uh, Guichi Motors out in Florida. Uh, we build ground up race and show vehicles and a little bit of everything. So this is a uh, debut and a re-debut in our Pistachio FD RX-7 at SEMA for the, the second time now. This car originally was like 15 colors, LS turbo for, I've had it for about 15 years. And then we got the call to take it to SEMA. So we tore it all the way down, rebuilt it. About 1200 horse, so LK9, uh, 408, 92 mil turbo. But kind of made it more show car then. And then it won SEMA best in show back, back then. Um, and then it's been a few years, so we ripped it apart and we got this new uh, new setup in it, new motor setup. How did you go before with um, having a, an LS and an FD? I mean, I know it's, um, FDs are not always had rotaries yeah. in them. People have put all sorts of stuff in them, but. Yeah, I mean, I was never a rotary guy and I actually bought the car as a shell. And um, back then, like Henson or nobody was making the swap kits. Uh, we had an LS on the ground and it was like, it fits, let's make it work. So. Like it was one of the early LS swapped FDs. So it's like from the beginning, it's always been a lot of hate, but you know, it, it, horsepower is horsepower. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not picky. <laughs> so tell me about the new setup. What's the deal with the engine and, and yeah. how's that all come about? Yeah, so uh, the car was blown apart, sold the motor, trying to figure out what to do. And I did um, a set of equal length manifold six to one for a um, S600 Mercedes. So when we did that, we bought uh, a mock-up block. So we had a spare motor, again, similar situation. Uh, so we didn't have to go back and forth from that car to, to, the, to, the, to the block building those headers. So yeah, it was like M120 V12, um, great Mercedes uh, you know, platform that there's really no aftermarket support for. But you know, Pagani used it in the Zonda and they sound amazing. So uh, we made it fit, we made it work. And in the process, we kind of developed a lot of M120 parts. So, you know, LS is you can go in a catalog and buy the same part from a hundred different companies. And the M120, there's really no aftermarket support. So we developed a long rod setup in them. So we got our own rods, pistons. Uh, we, we did all the prototyping on the heads. So we got full five axis um, heads, reworked the valves, work, reworked the heads a lot. And then in that, we also did a lot of the swap parts. So, you know, billet blocks to eliminate the water pump system. And we developed ITBs for it and race alternator. We did a dry sump, we got a full billet dry sump pan. So pretty much, Anything you need um, to do this swap in any platform, we kind of developed it along with like a Haltech harness and everything too. So this motor, let's see, it's a 11.8 compression, long rod, the rod stroke ratio is like 196. So it's like sport bike kind of ter territory. And we spec'd out the valve train to be about 9,000 RPM. So we're kind of going for the Zonda numbers. Uh, people are posting, oh, it's a Zonda motor. And everyone's like, no, it's not, it's Mercedes. But like Mercedes or not, like we're, we're shooting to, to kill the Zonda R numbers. Um, M5 methanol, hopefully a thousand NA is kind of what we're, what we're going for. So we'll see, nice. we'll see, yeah. Being an Aussie myself, um, I know this car's got a few Australian parts on it. Um, yeah. Power tech, wheels, all that sort of stuff. So yeah. give us a run through what uh, we're using. Yeah, we got um, HGT. Um, we run HGT um, stuff on everything. So it's close to you guys, right? Close enough. Um, Alltech, Alltech's been a big backer of the car since the LS days. Mike over at Duke Bus Wheels, we got um, his, his Bergmeisters. They've been on the car since the first SEMA that we refinished. So yeah, a couple um, Australian New Zealand guys on this build for sure. So the engine itself, is that a completely fresh engine or has it been on engine dyno yet or anything? Um, or? No, we, we literally just got it all together. Um, just just got the cams in and spec, spec out the massive cams in this. Um, we actually had to clearance the heads quite a bit because of how big these cams are. So uh, pretty much got it together. Um, it's a complete long block ready to go. Uh, we got the car back like four days before SEMA. So from, from the body shop, so it was a mad rush to get it together. But as soon as we get back, uh, we'll pull it out, make sure everything's good to go, throw it on the engine dyno. We're actually getting engine dyno set up so we can start you know, doing a little bit more prototyping on these motors, getting them dialed in for some packages. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping the next, say probably three, four months, we'll be shredding tires and, and have, having some fun with it. At least see what it sounds like. That's the big thing I'm excited about. <laughs> you know, you hear Zondas, you hear the V12s, you hear like we're doing a four rotor car in the shop. So you hear all that stuff, but this this car for me has always been not really a show car i've always just destroyed it get the natural race car patina so it's like i'm i'm mentally trying to imagine what a v12 at nine grand with the hgt sequential is going to sound like with the solid axle like it's it's going to be it's gonna be fun like i'm i think everybody that's had their hands on it's been really excited just to hear it i mean that's the biggest thing so we had a rocket bunny kit on the car before um, we actually got the first rocket bunny kit when they when they came out with that and we're lucky enough to team up with uh with kaiza and LTO, so we have the first FD kit um, from Kaiza and LTO. Uh, the, the, the body is just completely different from any other FD kit that's out there. Like once we got it actually on the ground and got to step back and look at it, it just it goes so hard. But they're doing a limited run. They're only doing 25 of these kits and that's it. They're not gonna make them anymore. 
So pretty honored to have um, have one of them, and then also being able to debut their kid on the cars is, is pretty killer here here at the Toyo Toyo booth. Nice. And um, lastly, uh, where do people go to follow you guys? Yeah, check us out. We're on uh, Instagram, uh, Guichi Motors, um, G O O I C H I. Uh, yeah, Instagram's probably the best way. So yeah, check it out.